Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Fragmented. Okay, so what are we doing today? Today, it's going to be more harvesting, more harvesting of stuff. They now have the animations, it looks like, in the third person mode, so it's exciting. I came out here to do some hunting to carry on with. Well, I thought that was a creature. To carry on with trying to to get the animal fat that we need so we're gonna have to go after these deer looking creatures these guys and shoot with that and then we switch to shotgun a couple shots oh really gotta reload gotta reload ah I'm gonna die huh. okay let's heal let's pick our knife let's heal again there we go, there's some animal fat. Yum, 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 yum. That's what we need. That's what we want. Let's go back to this weapon. Let's check this. Is it? Let's reload our, our gun. Okay, good, good, good. Let's go back to that thing. Let's aim. Third, this game is better designed in third person than it is for first person, I find. Come on. Let's heal. Let's switch to our knife. Bang. Okay, some more animal fat. So why do we need the animal fat? Good question. It's been a while since I played this game. All I know is I needed to harvest it. That's for sure. Oh, there's those guys. I don't like these guys at all. Let's reload the shotgun. Okay, let's shoot this bastard here. Ah! Heal! I'm gonna die! Woo! Man, that's cra that craziness, craziness. So I think we need the axe on these guys. Because you don't get animal fat off of this, you get the hide off of this guy. Well, let's go back to our base, because we need to stock up. And we should double check kind of what we need to do and kind of regroup and reorganize. I'm going to knock on some trees as we head back, and I will meet you all back at the base. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. I like the music in the game. I don't know, I like this game, running around harvesting. It's a different style of game. I just... And I do understand that you know, they are looking at adding more settings. There's some settings, I guess, in the text files I can look at to kind of customize the experience to make it easier to craft stuff. So that is all coming. So they are going to address that problem. So if people want to have servers so kind of like your let's players and all that stuff who do these videos then yeah so but me I don't mind so hopefully you don't mind either so what are we gonna build today well I don't know let's take a quick peek in here okay so I need some food that's what I need to food we need to make some set lang meat here we have three of these so let's craft this one two three do we have any other kind of meats lurking around? I'm just going to do a quick check through here. Cloth garments. Oh, we can make some new gloves and stuff. Cool. That's why I was collecting the hides because of... Oh, and animal fat. So we still need to go out harvesting, unfortunately, big time. So I need to make fuel containment. Like ammunition for flamethrowers. That's cool. Hmm, okay, small crate. We need glue for that. We need, and glue, I bet you we need animal fat. <laughs> I think that's our, our gate, is we need glue, which we passed, I think, right here. And we're going to need a lot of resin. And resin's not a big deal, because that's made out of logs. But we need the animal fat. And animal fat is used in everything else up here, right? <laughs> so like the set line gloves, see, uses animal fat. The boots, so... Yeah, looks like we'll have to go and kill some of those deer-looking things for the, the, the fat. 
The Rokaris will be there, so th those will be annoying. Can I make any of that meat? Let's take a look in our skill system here. Um, how do I do that? Yeah, here we go. Just go into my inventory. So this stuff doesn't... Oh, there's a delicious and there's a cooked. Okay, interesting. So we need to eat. I can double click that to eat as well. Cool, it, it kind of fed us up. We have this Cal Pratt's meat that we need to be able to use. Would I look under survival? Uh, no, okay. How about subsistence? Cooked Rhinoct, cooked Cal Pratt's. So that's what we need to train. Level 3 subsistence. Now we should be able to cook these things. How about the Rokaris meat? I think we can cook the Rokaris as well. Good. So let's do that. And some more food here. If we're going to kill that stuff, we need to get our food from that stuff. Um, oh, yeah, that's right. It's going to add it to the end. It always adds new stuff to, at the end. Okay, so this is where we'll use our sticks. So that's cool. Let's make five of these bad boys. This is, I wish you could go like craft all or something here, that would be kind of nice. Instead of having to click through each one or, or maybe like a number where we could pick like however many we want. Because maybe I want to make 10 glue or something, right? Not all the glue, but 10 glue, that would be kind of nice. Right, and one Rokaris meat. Excellent, so we have some food. Leospin juice. We haven't found any of this Leospin fruit. That's probably around here somewhere. We can make more cloth pouches if we need to. We need more rhyolite, more fiber. <laughs> yeah, this game is just you need to go on massive harvesting runs. Let's take a look at our gear and see how damaged. We need to make a new pick. I only have the one axe now, the Calibrite axe, that's what we're using. No, we still have the razor sharp axe, that's what we're still using now. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this meat into our hot bar here because that will help. Let's eat some more. Let's use up the water. We have to refill our water bottle before we head out. Okay. We got the cooked Rokaris meat as well, so it's not too bad. An hour before that decays. We got 14 points. Hmm. So we don't need a new axe. We're going to need a new pick. The guns are okay, they have lots of condition left. We do have a pistol, but we want to make that container so we can store stuff, right? Okay, so let's let's fill up our water bottle, and then I'll meet you over by the animals again. And guess today's going to be another day of harvesting. Woo! I wish I could build stuff, but it just takes so many resources. So let's go down here. It's funny how you have to swim to do this. You'd think there'd be some sort of water purification method. And I'm going to play this game in third person mode because it seems not too bad now. So let's actually see if we can build some of this log stuff here. Maybe we can build some walls all the way around. <clears throat> let's go back into here. It's probably going to use a lot of resources. Um, let's use fiber, logs, twigs. Let's see, let's kind of build. One, let's build another, and maybe one more just to see what this looks like, to see what we're working with. Okay, close that. Let's go into our inventory. Okay, wood wall. Can we snap them, or... Uh, yeah, see, it's just a wall, right? So, first person might be actually better for this mode. So how can I make it look like it's inside, it's like connected? Like this? Yeah, okay, I guess so, that's a wood wall. Don't know if I like that. Don't know if I like the building system in this at the moment. Um, I keep hitting tab. Oh, I hit something to get my screen to show up like that. Just double click on that. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know if I like this. Because it's not going to snap together. I think if it's orange, it won't let me, right? Yeah. And if I do that, there will be little gaps. There's going to be gaps in the wall here. I guess it's kind of cool, but... it's kind of gaps in the top part of this as well. It's like it's floating there anyways. 
I understand what they're trying to do. <laughs> oh well, it's interesting. I wish it was like a snapping feature so that way you can make. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, so there'll be gaps. There's gonna be gaps for walls, I guess. Hello, I can see you. <laughs> cool. Okay, anyways, I will meet you all down over by the harvesting area. Okay, here we are at the hunting grounds. Need these some more of these these set lying things for their hides. Nice. Okay, we need to use our axe on these bad boys. There we go. He still has life, but he doesn't. We did kill him. Oh, oh, what's this guy? Hey, where are you going? Where is he going? I don't understand the AI pathing of this stuff. That's something they really need to fix. I do need to go more up there because that's where the the other kind of creatures are. These are more for their hides, which are useful for the armor and stuff, which we need a lot of these guys. We have to kill a lot of them, but we need to head more up there for those kind of horned creatures because they will have the animal fat and that's kind of more what we're after anything else is just more of a, a side thing let's see here let's run up here the creatures <clears throat> no you need to remember we need some more rhyolite as well which comes from the smaller rocks not the bigger ones the bigger ones we get the calibrite out of let's see here now it's gonna rain I think it's up this way for the Rokaris guys. Yeah, further north, basically. Uh, let's see about hitting this tiny rock here. These is, this is where you get the rhyolite from. Sometimes. Let's see here. Gypsum. Uh, limestone. Ah, come on. Don't want to waste the pickaxe for collecting... Trying to collect rhyolite. Oh, there we go. Hello. Let's just, actually just use the shotgun in this instance. See how you miss? Now we need to heal. Now we just switch to our knife. Animal fat. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. Let's heal up again. Okay, we got the, the machine gun. Let's run up this way. Um, trying to find a nice safe spot that's on the outside. Oh, there's a. Uh, I hate those guys. Those guys are annoying. Just want the set lang or whatever they're called. Well, not set lang, but these calprates or whatever they're called. I know over there there's more, but it's close to that weird looking guy walking around. Let's reload this. Let's let, let, let's go after that guy. Come on! Woo! Okay, these guys just give hides, I think. Yep, the uh, hides. Looks like we get meat and hides from them. Nice. Oh, there's a Calpratis. There we go. Whew. Where is he? Did I just miss his body? See, that's bull crap. Or did it go past me? Man, is that stupid? Sometimes that happens too, where the, the corpse just disappears. You lose everything. That's brutal. Let's see if we can find some rhyolite here. I... This is where you find. There you go. See, this is where you find them. But then you won't find the calibrite, which is important. That's for replacing your equipment. Uh, let's reload this. We're going to have to replace our 
Switch. Bang. Woo! Seal. Gotta keep on our toes here. Heal again. We're gonna have to build some more bandages, I think. Yeah, because I don't know how many we have. I can't see that number. Yeah, keep hitting tab. Uh, yeah, and we might want to run back to cook this stuff, so that's another thing we have to keep keep in mind. So let's actually eat this up and then eat this one up. Looks like we're fully restored. Got our water skin to keep us fully restored as well. We've got three bandages, so we should make some more bandages while we're out here. Go under survival, bandage, craft. Whoa! Ah, come on! Yeah! Yeah, baddie! Yeah, the axe is pretty good. Huh, right on. It's getting dark now. That sucks. I really hate being out in the dark. Because it's hard to see. There's no flashlight. Might just head back then. And we'll only kind of harvest during the day, I guess. So I'll, as I head back, I will do this. And then we'll see what we can craft. We should be able to craft something to advance the game. <laughs> oh, man. So far, you see me. All you've seen me do is harvest. And unfortunately, that is partially the reality of this game. It's There's a lot of harvesting. didn't realize how much of beads. It kind of reminds me of like Ark or, or Life is Feudal or, or, or anything to that to that effect. Um, don't have enough free space? We do have enough free space. It just comes up with that error when you've got too much stuff. So usually when that starts happening, I just kind of dump some of the stuff into different pouches. So that way then there is more room. Yeah, so I'll meet you all back at the base. So here we are back at the base. Excellent. With everything almost breaking on us. Bang, my pick just broke. So how about we look at our axe here. I think our axe is about to break. A razor sharp one. So that's exciting. That's going to free up some slots. Yeah, see it says it's nearly broken. What else can we break on? Come on. We need another tree. So let's run over to this tree over here, and we'll see what we can build, and then we'll call it an episode. Maybe see what we can waste our skill points on. Come on. want the, break, the, the axe to break. Oh, there you go. Axe is broken. Now our base is back over here. Let's run back to our base here. Yay, we're back at our base. Okay. Yeah, yeah, buddy, I know, I know, you're breathing heavily. So let's take a quick peek at what we can kind of craft now. Okay, so there's electro plate. Quick time and gold. That's interesting, we don't have gold. We want to make more ammunition, of course. So let's see, how many do we want to make? I think it makes a set of 50. One more? Oh no, it makes a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. We will use that ammunition up. We want to always make sure we have top ammunition. We want our calibrate pick, right? We want to cook our meat. We have a bunch of food here. Nice. Okay, so we can kind of chow down on that. We have one more to fill us up. There we go, we're pretty much full. Drink some water. What else can we cook? They're here. Got a couple of these ones to cook. And then we got the Rokaris meat. So yeah, so we don't have to worry about food anymore. Because the animals will have that. Hmm, that's exciting. Okay. What else can we make? Uh, I think that's it. Then we can just do these like this medium building which requires cement so there's eight cement so which means we need eight quick time let's do that let's see what this these buildings look like there's a supply station whatever that does All right could use this to create a supply station so let's do that so 
The next kind of thing to build would be like a tech shed, probably. So let us do that. Okay, so let's build the tech shed. So we need six cement. So cement, how do you make cement? We need quick time. Quick time, I think, uses lime. Yeah, the, so let's do that. So I'm going to make a bunch of this, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we are back. So we have the 30 quick time now. Now let's scroll back down. What else do we need? We need six cement. So six cement and 12 cement in total. It's kind of what we'll make. Where are we? Right here we go. This is how we do it. Just one, two. I will see you when I make the 12. Okay, so we got some cement here. So now we are going to build the tech shed. Just go like this, just go craft. Oh wow, that actually takes some seconds to craft those things for whatever reason. And then we're gonna build the small building, see what this stuff looks like. If we run out of space, we'll just build another base platform and go from there. Okay, so let's take a look at what this stuff looks like. Okay. So let's take a quick peek here. Let's build something in the corner here. So if I go inventory, let's do the tech shed. Whoa! Okay, that's bigger than I expected actually. Wow. So like this. Oh baby. So what kind of spacing did we leave back here? Yeah, okay, we did, we did. It's cutting into the grass, but that's fine. That's huge. Wow. Okay, what's inside this thing? So it's basically like uh, another place to build stuff that has lights. This is probably where you can build your storage and stuff. Okay, that's kind of neat. How about the small building? What does the small building look like? Will that be huge? No, that won't be as huge, maybe? I don't know. I wish there was a way to see what it would look like. Let's just do that. Okay, and is it hanging over the edge? No, it's not. Okay, cool, cool. We know we don't need the walls, so it's not a big deal. But we got a cool looking building here as well. So this is the small building. Oh, I like this a lot better. It has windows. We can access the building, which is just to demolish and stuff. This is so cool. Well, here we go. So here's a couple buildings that we built. It's better than the shed, that's for sure. <laughs> Too bad we can't relocate these items easily. I wish we could do that. So there you go, folks. So there's a little taste of some more fragmented stuff. Uh, let's take a look at our skills actually before we finish for the day and maybe this will be our new home This will be our new house So let's take a quick peek within the skills here. So I have 14 skill points Dome structure sunroof uh, Tech building tech shop two-story large crate large building silo communication. This is where you build stuff Electronics see and this is kind of Crafting station, interesting. Medical bot, we do want to increase electronics. Melee, the calibrate sword, steel knife, steel axe, steel sword. So more just the steel knife or steel, mm, interesting. Ranged, we'll have the sniper rifle be next. Then the, we get into the beam stuff. Refining, so ethylene nanites, glass, rubber. Steel pick is level 8. Yeah, we need more skill points for that, basically. So I'm going to increase the refining so that way we can get you down there to the farming plot. I think that's all important. So I think we don't have any more points other than we can probably dump some into electronics. And there we go. So we use our points. We're almost up for level up. So basically I'm just going to go around killing... Those creatures get a bunch of animal hides, collecting a bunch of materials before our next video. So yeah, I'll probably do the next one in a week. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.